so in the previous class i have told you the reaction in which a substance gain oxygen or loses hydrogen that is called oxidation reaction so now we will study about the effect of some oxidation reaction taking place around us so first of all the first effect is corrosion so corrosion means when a metal gets attacked by a substance around it such as acids and moisture the metal is said to be corroded and the process is called corrosion in case of for example if you will take the example of iron in case of iron the corrosion is called rusting similarly if you take another example a black coating on silver and green coating on copper these all are the examples of corrosion in case of iron it is called rusting and even you might have observed that when you bring new iron articles it is very shiny and bright but if you will keep it uh, for some time in an open area it comes in contact with with the moisture and air and it gets rusted that means a brown powder uh, is brown powder coating is coming on the iron that is called rusting of iron that coating that brown powder coating or the rusting of iron is damaging the iron articles that means corrosion causes damage to the metal corrosion causes damage to the metal is destroys the strength of the metal or it can damage the car bodies bridges iron railing seat etc all objects made up of metal especially those of iron those objects are getting corroded by uh, this process that is corrosion so when a, a metal comes in contact with the surrounding such as moisture acids so it is getting corroded or that means it starts destroying them uh, destroying and that will the process is called corrosion so this is the effect this is an effect of oxidation process another effect is also there that is rancidity that is called rancidity so rancidity is the phenomenon of reaction of atmospheric oxygen with oils and fats so it is the reaction of oils and fats react with atmospheric oxygen so when oils and fats reacts with atmospheric oxygen that phenomenon is known as rancidity so the articles containing oil and fat when kept for some time in the open space it starts giving a bad smell and taste so that is why that time that are uh, those articles we can say that they have gone rancid so for the food con food items containing oil and fats are kept in a air tight container so that the process of oxidation will be slow down or uh, the food items uh, containing oil and fats they are stored uh, they are added some antioxidants are added with those food items to prevent the oxidation process sometimes antioxidants are also added and we are keeping or storing the food items in a air tight container so that the process will be slow down process of oxidation will be slow down and we can prevent our food items from getting oxidized or rancid similarly you might have observed that cheap uh, chips we are eating chips pack and and all a gas is flushed in that so cheap manufacturers usually flush bags of chips with gas such as nitrogen to prevent chips from getting oxidized so chips bag that in that bags nitrogen gas is used so that it will prevent the chips from getting oxidized since chips also contains oil and fats it can get oxidized very easily with atmospheric oxygen that is why chip uh, manufacturers they are using flush bags uh, they means nitrogen gas they are using so that they can prevent the chips from getting oxidized so we are uh, we can prevent our food items or oil and fat containing uh, items by storing in a air tight container or we are adding some uh, antioxidants to prevent them from the oxidation or to prevent them from the rancid when they are getting rancid they are giving a bad smell and taste so these all are the effects of oxidation what we are getting in our day to day life so this is all about the reaction the types of reaction and the effects of reaction 
so now let's take the whole chapter into memory with a very shortcut way so first of all chemical reaction chemical reaction is a simple representation of chemical changes that takes place around us in the form of we are representing chemical reaction in the form of symbols or formulas then we have to balance the chemical reaction that means the reactant side and the product side masses should be equal that means the number of atoms we are considering and we are making them equal but every time it is not quite possible to make it equal but we should do balance uh, minimum uh, we should do balancing for the reactions then after that we know the reactions in our day to life day to day life so many reactions are taking place so according to that we are classifying the reactions into types of reactions that is combination reactions decomposition reactions exothermic reaction endothermic reaction displacement reaction double displacement reaction oxidation and reduction reaction so first of all combination reaction when two or more reactants combine to give a single product that is called combination reaction when a single reactant is giving two or more products that is called decomposition reaction similarly when in a reaction heat energy is released that is called exothermic reaction when uh, and in a reaction when heat energy is absorbed or light energy or electricity or anything the form of energy is absorbed to do the reaction that reaction is called endothermic reaction next is when uh, the when a high reactive element displaces the low reactive elements from its aqueous solution that type of reactions are called displacement reactions and when exchange of ions takes place between the reactants or two aqueous solution that time it is called double displacement reaction and oxidation and reduction reaction the reaction in which a substance gains oxygen or loses hydrogen that is called oxidation reaction and uh, the reaction in which a substance loses oxygen or gains hydrogen that is called reduction reaction so now next is our after types of reactions we have some effects of reactions or effects of oxidation reaction in our day to day life that is corrosion and rigidity because of the corrosion mostly this iron rusting of iron uh, a lot of iron articles are getting damaged year by year and we have to expend a uh, lot for these iron articles so corrosion is destroying the metal when the metals are coming in contact with the acids or moisture it is destroying the strength of the metal or destructing the metal so this is an effect of oxidation another is rancidity that is when oil and fats comes in contact with the atmospheric oxygen they are also getting oxidized and getting rancid that means giving bad smell and taste for example our food items contains oil and fats that is why they are kept in with uh, uh, kept in a airtight container to prevent the oxidation or you can use uh, antioxidants with the food items to prevent the oxidation or uh, some chips packets or something like that this uh, packet food items they are flushed with nitrogen gas to prevent the oxidation Uh, so that is why um, these all are the effects of oxidation reactions so uh, now you have learned about the reactions their types and their effects how they are doing the reactions so next we will study about the in that reactions which are the acidic reactions and which are the basic